So let me get this straight. I'm gonna need you guys to get your calculators out because this shit, it ain't adding up. This makes no sense whatsoever. But I'm gonna try to do my best to help break it down to you what I what just transpired like not even 10 minutes ago before me making this video. You're telling me Serge Ibaka was traded for Victor Oladipo, Ursan Ilyasova, and the, basically the first round pick for the 2016 draft, which happened to be Sabanis. Luckily, the GM in 2K is not that stupid. However, I guess the Magic GM was on some opium or whatever because this trade just ain't making any sense. Now, I understand... I understand why the Magic would want somebody like Ibaka. I get it, you know. He... He's basically a proven defensive stud, you know, he can shoot the three ball uh, kind of consistently, but you know, he's already established and proven. It's great for a team as young as the Magic. However, did you really think, Orlando, did you really think it was necessary to give away Oladipo and a first round pick? Why? Now, look, look, listen. I try my best to understand both sides of the trade. I didn't think the Derrick Rose trade was a bad idea. I mean, Derrick Rose was declining. Yeah, I could kind of see it. But, you know, for the Thunder, you have to think they don't lose anything from this. They get two power forwards. They get a proven power forward, Ilya Sova, who can shoot the three ball way better than Ibaka. Can't trust me. He was on the Pistons. It seems like everything I talk about goes back to the Pistons. But not only that, they get, you know, a rebounding machine of Sabanis. So... Not to mention, they got Mitch McGarry coming off the bench, I think. Yeah, he's coming off the bench. I had to slow down and think about that. They have fucking Steven Adams, who's a defensive anchor. He, he took basically all the responsibility of defense last year. Not only that, now you have the trio of Westbrook, Durant, and Oladipo? What the fuck were the Magic thinking? Well, I don't even know, okay? I don't know where this is going. It may play out beautifully. Who knows? This is all assuming that OKC can get Durant back but at this point you have to think why wouldn't Durant want to come back but man this is just my I just had to I just had to get my thoughts on this man let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe if you like this video just like if you didn't and uh pray pray for the magic y'all I'll see y'all later peace